if you have a window that uh, separates between two houses and there's a, there's a dead person in one house. So the impurity of one goes into the other house because since there's a window that's open, you know, a window is like an opening that's open from one house to the other house, the impurity travels in. What happens if you close the window? You know, you close the window. Does that separate one house from another and the impurity doesn't go to the other house? You know, you close the window. Yeah. So he said like this, it depends with what you close it with. If you close it with something that you're not planning to remove, then it's considered a closing and it doesn't, it, it doesn't uh, travel from one to the next. But if it's something that you are planning to move and it's just there temporarily, that's not considered closing. What, what does that mean? When you say I'm not planning to move, is it forever or is it for the day? Let's say I put in the window, I put a child child and I'm planning to leave the child till after the day is over on the window sill. A little baby. I'm not planning to leave him there always, just for Shabbos. Now why would I leave a baby for Shabbos? Because according to Jewish law, if a baby is born in the eighth month, he's muksa. You're not allowed to touch him on you're not allowed to move him on Shabbos. Because when they're born in the eighth month, it's not considered alive. No, it's not considered living. It's considered like a stone. And you have 30 days to see if they're going to make it. So if a baby is born, on, a baby is born let's say on Shabbos or Friday, and he's born in the eighth month. So when it comes Shabbos, you know how to move him. So you put the baby on the windowsill and you leave him there till after Shabbos. So for the entire Shabbos, you can't move him because it's muksa. Is that considered a closing? According to the Ramam, yes. Because since for Shabbos, the entire Shabbos, you're not planning to move this child, it's considered a separation as if you close the window. So according to the Rambam, as long as it's a closing for the day, and you're not planning to remove for that day, that's considered enough to close, and if there's impurity in the house, it doesn't travel to the other. According to Tosis, he says, no. It has to be something that you're planning to leave there forever. You're not planning to move it at all. If it's just a daily thing for 24 hours, that's not enough. But according to the Rama, as long as for Shabbos, you're not planning to move it because it's muksa, it's considered uh, thing. So a good example is a lot of people have by the window like a plant, you know, like they keep it so the sun could shine on it or they water it. They leave it place for a few days. Some people leave it for the summer. They're not planning to move the plant, not because it can't move. Well, they leave it, this is where I want the plant to be, so it gets sunlight and it gets air and oxygen and so on. According to the Raman, that's considered enough to separate one house from another because that's not what you're planning to remove. According to Tosis, it has to be something that you're going to leave there permanent, forever. So you have two opinions. So if you have this question, make sure you ask your local rabbi to know what to do.